Hello and welcome to my video uh, topic 1.3, Surface Area of Constant Rectangular Prisms. Uh, this is from topic 1.3 in the Math Makes Sense 9 textbook. So we're going to look at two different questions for this video. And basically we're looking at any cubes or any rectangular prisms. And we're going to use those to find the surface area. And I'm going to look at mainly mathematically how, but then uh, just a little bit uh, logically how as well with the physical shape of the object. So with, I'm going to read this question and then we're going to go into it. With each cube's side, uh, side length being one centimeter, determine the surface area of the following object. Now what's really nice is that if each side length is one centimeter by one centimeter by one centimeter, that means that the surface area is equal to, oops, is equal to one centimeter times one centimeter, or actually maybe I won't call it surface area quite yet, oopsies, uh, I'm going to call it just the area equal is equal to that, one times one is one centimeter cubed, no squared, sorry, squared. So that's the area of uh, this, oh wow, it's happening a lot, uh, of this little area, this square here, okay? So any square, any one of the square sides is going to be one centimeter cubed, which makes it really easy. It's, it's like having a unit measurement of one, okay? Makes it really easy to just spend the time to figure out the concept instead of doing a whole bunch of math around it. So, so what we're going to do is we're going to first look at physically what's happening. Uh, and you can look at each different view. So there's a top view, bottom view. Um, so if you're looking from the top down like this, or if you're looking uh, bottom up like this, or uh, really all the different angles. So front, back, <coughs> right side, and left side. So this seems, uh, might seem a little bit complicated, but it's easy to remember that there are one, two, three, four, five, six sides to look at because all dice have six sides. Okay? So a dice is just a cube, uh, but we have one side, two sides, three sides, and then four, five, six, right? So hopefully that helps a little bit to remember. So the top view for this object is going to look something like this. And we're going to have like an upside down T. Okay. Our bottom view is going to be uh, a, just a T. So it's going to be the opposite of that. Okay, uh, front view is going to be another upside down T. And our back view is going to be the same shape. So it's a little bit easier if you can actually have cubes in your hands. So sometimes having that manipulative, that actual physical object can help. Uh, the right side it's going to look like this. I mean, it depends what you call right and what you call left, but then the other side is just the opposite. All right, so we have all those different sides. And now what we can just do, I'm going to use my highlighter here. We can just, oh, that's massive. I'm not going to use my highlighter. I'm not going to use my highlighter. I'm going to use something else. Um, what we can just do is we can just count up each of the sides. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So we have, whoops, weird colors, funky colors coming in, 22. Okay, that's just from counting it up. 
Now mathematically, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to think of it, how does it get, uh, how do we get the surface area of it without counting it all up? Well, the best way to do it is to count the number of cubes. And we remember, based off of our dice over here, we remember that all cubes have six sides. Okay, so six times the number of cubes. So we have one cube, two, three, four, and one behind. So that's five. So six times five. But we have some wasted sides, which may not be clear right away. But in between this here, there are two wasted sides, one from this square or cube and one from this one. So we've got two there, got two here, two there, and then behind there we've got two there. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight wasted sides. So minus eight. So six times five minus eight. Let's go another step here. Six times five is thirty minus eight. 30 minus 8 is 22. Surface area is equal to 22. And, uh, well, actually, we should remember and write down that that's centimeters squared. Which is good to see that it's the same as when we count it up. Okay, now we're going to move on to uh, a composite shape with rectangular prisms, not just cubes. And we're going to look at some actual numbers, not just a, a number of 1 and multiplying 1 by everything. This question says, determine the surface area of the object below. So this has two different rectangular prisms on top of each other. So we're going to need to find all the different sides, and then we're going to have to subtract the wasted sides. Okay? That's the same rule as up here. All the sides plus um, subtract wasted sides. So we're going to use uh, we're going to remember to check top, bottom, front. It might be helpful when you guys are doing questions like this to write down all the different sides that you could possibly have so that you don't forget something. Right, left. And then I have actually two different, uh, two different uh, prisms here. I've got my main one, the big one, and I've got my small one. So it might be important to check those both out. Uh, so for my main one, I'm looking for my the top. Okay, So that's what's inside this square. How, how big is that? That's 6 by 4. So 6 times 4, which equals 24. And my bottom is going to be identical to that. 6 times 4, I'll write it down, 6 times 4 equals 24. Okay, bottom and the top are going to be the same. Front and back are going to be the same. We're going to see that in a second. We're going to use this side here as my front. So that's uh, 6 feet here times 1 foot. So 6 times 1 equals 6, and then my back is going to be the same, 6 times 1 foot, 6 times 1 equals 6, and then my right and my left are both going to be 4 times 1, you should be able to see 4 here and 1 here, 4 times 1, so 4, 4, and that's my main shape. Now for my small shape, I've got uh, for my top, 2 times 3 equals 6. For my bottom, 2 times 3 equals 6. Uh, for my front side, I have 3 times 1 equals 3. My back side is the same, 3 times 1 equals 3. Uh, for my right side, 2 times 1 equals 2. Uh, for my left side, 2 times 1 equals 2. So now those are all the different sides. So I need to add all these numbers together and then I can't forget to subtract the wasted sides. And we'll talk about that right after. So 24 plus 24 is 48. 
plus 6 plus 6 is 12, plus 4 plus 4 is 8, plus 6 plus 6 is 12, plus 3 plus 3 is 6, plus 2 plus 2 is 4. Okay, now going through and adding them all up, uh, I'm going to have 48 plus 4, let's do that one first, or no, let's do 48 plus 12 is 60, um, 8 plus 12 is 20, and uh, 6 plus 4 is 10. Adding those up, we have 60 plus 20 plus 10 equals 90. So close, but we're not quite there yet. We actually have to tag along some sort of minus for the wasted sides. So what are the wasted sides? Well, actually, if we look carefully, hopefully you'll notice that underneath this rectangle, I have a whole bunch of stuff down there. Got it wasted twice. Once for the small one and the side once for the, the main rectangular prism. So the bottom of my small one, where is that one? It's this one. I have that wasted twice. So 6 and I've got it wasted twice times 2. So 6 times 2 is 12. I'll carry that down. And then 90 minus 12 equals uh, 80, 78. And so my surface area for this question is 78. And oh yeah, I always sometimes forget, I always, I sometimes forget this is really important. The units, feet squared. So hopefully with those two questions, uh, this topic 1.3 makes a little bit more sense. Good luck on the quiz and good luck on the homework.